Welcome to the RF Antenna Design Channel. In this video, we will explore a fascinating trick to enhance antenna design. We will discover how to optimize its performance using an innovative approach. So, without further ado, dive into the world of RF antenna design with us. Let's get started. In this process, we will be using a 35 cm long RG6 coaxial cable. To measure it accurately, you will need a tape measure and a marker. Carefully measure out the 35 cm and mark the point with the marker. Then, using wire cutters, make the cut at the indicated measurement. This step is crucial to ensure that the cable length is precise and meets our requirements for the next phase of the project. Now, let's move on to the next step, which involves installing a threaded F-type coaxial cable connector. Follow these simple steps. 1. Using a wire cutter, cut approximately 1 cm from the end of the coaxial cable to expose the inner conductor. Two, carefully remove about 2 cm of the black rubber cover to reveal the metal mesh surrounding the conductor. 3. Take the threaded F-type connector and, with a clockwise twist, insert it into the end of the coaxial cable. Turn the connector towards the cable, ensuring a tight screwing of the mesh. This process is essential to ensure a solid connection and optimal antenna performance. Let's continue advancing in the creation of our RF antenna with these practical steps. Continuing with the next step, mark 15 cm from the previous point. Now, with extreme caution, remove the black rubber without cutting the inner mesh. Here's a detailed description of the process. 1. Mark 15 cm from the point where you installed the F-type connector. 2. Very carefully, use a suitable tool to remove the black rubber without damaging the inner mesh. 1. Finally, pull the mesh back over the body of the coaxial cable, covering approximately 90% of the exposed black rubber. Now, we will proceed to use two pieces of aluminum tubing with a diameter of 3 8 inch. Cut two segments of 1 cm each. Here is the detailed process. Measure and mark two segments of 1 cm on the aluminum tubes. Using a tube cutter, make the cut at each mark. Once you have both tube rings prepared, insert one ring at the end of the mesh and the other at the beginning of the coaxial cable mesh. Adjust the rings so that they define a total length of 13.5 cm from the starting point to the end of the mesh. This adjustment will provide us with a suitable one-quarter wavelength for the specific frequency we are working with. This step is essential for the precise tuning of our RF antenna. Let's continue advancing in the construction of our antenna with this crucial step. 
Let's now work with the dielectric of the coaxial cable. Follow these precise steps. 1. Measure 0.5 cm or 5 mm from the end of the coaxial cable. 2. From this point, proceed to remove all excess dielectric to reveal the inner conductor. To do this effectively. 3. Use a blade to cut the dielectric into small pieces, facilitating its removal. 4. With a gentle twist, remove the exposed dielectric to reveal the inner conductor. Ensure to carry out these steps carefully to avoid damaging the inner conductor. The result result should be a segment of the conductor ready for the next phase of our RF antenna construction. Let's continue with enthusiasm in this exciting project. In this step, we will look for a soda can or container and remove the pull tab opener it comes with. Here are the detailed steps to follow. Point 1. Find a soda can and remove the aluminum pull tab opener from the top. Point Point 2. Using a tape measure, measure 1 quarter wavelength, which is equivalent to 13.5 centimeters in length. Point 3. Mark this distance on the conductor of the coaxial cable. This will be the point where we will position the aluminum pull tab. Point 4. Position and adjust the aluminum pull tab at the marked point on the coaxial cable conductor. Point 5. Finally, cut the excess cable to adjust it to the desired length. This step is essential to ensure that the antenna is tuned correctly and ready for use. Let's continue progressing with this exciting RF antenna construction project. To use the antenna, we will need a splitter or a direct connector. Place the antenna at the input of the splitter. In order to preserve the material, apply a layer of plastic spray to ensure the antenna's lifespan. Follow these additional steps. One, connect the antenna to the input of the splitter or direct connector. Two, to preserve and protect the antenna, apply a uniform layer of plastic spray. It is important to note that the antenna's performance was evaluated before construction to achieve the best possible results. Finally, we will proceed to test the antenna to verify its performance. If you enjoyed the content, I invite you to subscribe, like, and share. We appreciate your support in this exciting RF antenna construction project.